Glamorous, dramatic, and sexy. Once you step into the apartment, all you can say is wow. I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from this sumptuous duplex penthouse in Nomad perched above Madison Square Park. So close in fact you can almost reach out and just touch the trees. In fact every view is postcard perfect and brought even closer on the expansive terraces. Yes, there are two including this one right off the living room for easy indoor outdoor entertaining. Inside this over 3,500 square foot home feels like more of a classic townhouse in the sky with herringbone floors, walls of windows, and high ceilings. And fun fact for the fashion faithful, all these furnishings around me were once owned by the late Gianni Versace himself. And I hear it can all be included in the purchase. Just so you know, most things can. There are four bedrooms in all, including a regal primary suite where you can sip a morning coffee or an evening cocktail with the city at your feet. We are starting things off in the Flatiron District at this brand new penthouse. At 3,900 square feet of stylish living, this bespoke three bedroom beauty is a downtown dream home just flowing with natural light. This one you gotta see for yourself. Glamorous, dramatic, and sexy. Action. Welcome to 240 Park Avenue South, Penthouse 17. I'm Michael Graves, and I'm looking forward to showing you this incredible place. This entrance gallery greets you as you step off the private Keaton elevator. But once you step into the apartment, all you can say is wow. I mean, look at this. Over here. As far as first impressions go, it doesn't get much better than this. And let's not forget the hand-applied plaster walls. You won't see them anywhere else in the city. Just one of the many attributes that set this penthouse apart. This is the great room, and it's the main event of this home. It includes living, dining, and a gorgeous bar area. You have Italian porcelain floors underfoot and 12 and a half foot ceilings overhead. Notice the custom frieze molding with recessed and cove lighting, which really sets the mood. And check out this limestone fireplace. It's quite the focal point. Not a bad place to put your feet up, huh? This home is also an art collector's dream with massive walls, perfect for large scale pieces of art. It just screams glamour. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find another residence downtown that has this level of sophistication and modern elegance. Look at this grand dining table. Just a hint of the lavish feasts you could host here. Imagine you and your guests dining against the backdrop of these views, featuring the Empire State Building, the Chrysler, and the Clock Tower at Madison Square Park. Views so impressive that I'm pretty sure even if your chef burns the food, they won't notice. Sleek and stunning, this ultra-modern kitchen will inspire even the most uninspired chef. Corian countertops, automated cabinetry, and all the best appliances, of course. It also features a butler's pantry and wine storage, to say nothing of the east and southern views. This is a chic kitchen to carve a turkey in. And I can tell you, us vegetarians love it too. This is a three bedroom home, and the primary suite is right this way. For those of you who dream of bedrooms and not just in them, this is the place for you. The primary suite features a luxurious spa-like bath, a huge windowed dressing room, and this serene bedroom. It's flooded in natural light with both north and southern views. I love this beautiful hand-carved oak millwork, which is also very functional with built-ins. And the tray ceiling with coved lighting makes the room feel even bigger without ever losing its sense of calm. It's also pin drop quiet. How many bathrooms in New York can you watch your favorite news in the morning while you brush your teeth, turn to the right and see a perfectly framed picturesque view of the Empire State Building and Clock Tower? Well, I'll tell you how many, just this one.
Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what I consider to be one of the most beautiful homes downtown. Coming up just after the break, a vibrant homage to a Moroccan Riyadh. Welcome back everyone. We always pride ourselves in showcasing homes that transport us. And this next home in the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles does just that. Walking through this loving homage to a Moroccan Riyadh, it's easy to imagine yourself in say Marrakesh or Casablanca. So take a trip or rather a look and definitely enjoy. Welcome to Marrakesh. Well, kind of. We're actually here sitting in the heart of Los Feliz, neighboring the entertainment capital of the world, Hollywood. Behind me here is the Moroccan Casbah, which is actually owned by Sue Wong, who is a legendary, iconic fashion designer in Hollywood. Sue has seemed to take her eye for design and has moved it into the real estate industry. Let's step into Morocco and see it for ourselves. So now stepping into this dramatic foyer entrance, first thing that your eyes dart to are the custom iron worked railings on the staircase that were designed by Su Wong. Also found in the foyer is a great water feature here imported from Morocco. And here what I find really interesting and as a motif throughout the property are these wood carved arches that you'll see leading you into most rooms of the house. So moving through into this ballroom style living room, again, you have all this volume and space, but one of my favorite details of this room are actually the ceilings that you see here. These are hand painted and designed by a Moroccan artist. Su Wong's biggest inspirations were actually Marrakesh and Fez. And from those two regions of Morocco, she's found pieces like this amazing light fixture and others that you'll see throughout the home. The layout of the home allows for both private areas, but also entertainment space as well. As we enter into the formal dining room, your attention immediately heads towards this massive wood dining table. A table like this gives you the opportunity to have all your friends over and have the biggest cocktail party or the most intimate scenes that you would need. What better place to throw a great party than this amazing entertainment room? The amount of volume and space in this room is second to none. You can see this entertainment bar area, also with this dramatic light fixture, and of course, this amazing velvet couch built for this corner of the room. Tell me this is not the most interesting tile work you've seen on the interior of a home. This is quintessential Marrakesh Fez design. And if mosaic tiles wasn't enough, we have these custom brass and gold doors that are just icing on the cake. This crimson and gold primary bedroom is a visual voyage through authentic Moroccan lifestyle. It's so massive that you actually have four separate rooms within the primary. If there was a word to express something more dramatic than drama alone, I would use it to describe this room. Sleeping here must feel like a palace, like you're in a Moroccan citadel. This is something for a king or queen, but you're still in the heart of Los Feliz. So thanks for visiting me here in Los Feliz, maybe Marrakesh, but we're happy to have you guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Coming up in just a few, we visit this chef's dream home and the dream she made a reality, both in the West Village. We'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. Well, it's never a bad time for dumplings, I truly believe. And Chef Becky Lynn has some and more at her restaurant, Lynn and Daughters in the West Village. She was inspired by her father's cooking growing up. And as you'll see, family is what continues to inspire her every day, both at work and in the delightful design of her apartment. Take a look. 
My two big passions in life are cooking and design because it brings a lot of beauty into the world that's very tangible and soulfully restorative. Hi, my name is Becky. I'm an entrepreneur, a mom, a chef, and owner of Lynn and Daughters in West Village. I designed the house to be cozy and functional because I have two little kids. The flow needs to be very natural so the kids don't bump into furnitures and things like that. Right now, we're at my cozy corner. I feel calm when I'm sitting here with my cup of coffee. The plants brings me back to the old days when I was living in China. I want to recreate a little part of my childhood in this corner. So why don't I show you the rest of the home? When I designed this place, I wanted a place to feel really open and modern with a lot of natural materials. The carpet has tree branch patterns on it. The mantle is made with wood. The floor lamp is made with bamboo. It definitely brings some sort of uh, Asian element into the home. And the Chinese money plant on the mantle. <laughs> Every Chinese household has a Chinese money plan. The painting is actually made by a woman in Texas. Art was her dad's passion and she kind of took it on herself and made it her own, which I feel like in some way is what I'm doing with Linen Daughters. My dad was a chef and now I am one as well, taking on his passion. My kids definitely love this space, maybe more than I do, but they like to jump on the couch. They're not big runners, but they're big jumpers. Low is important as part of my design because it is part of feng shui. When you walk around, you, you feel natural. You're not you know, avoiding things to get to a certain area of the house. In the kids' room, I added a lot of color pink because we have two girls and our oldest specifically requested pink for her room. And then we decided to add this beautiful wallpaper. Whimsical hot balloons and bunnies and animals, all her favorite things. The eldest sleep on the top because the youngest, she has a tendency to be a, a little bit too adventurous. It's important in kids' room to have different sections so they can easily move from one part to another and also they don't get bored. So now let me show you our bedroom. For our bedroom, calmness was key. As a chef, as a mother of two little kids, there's a lot of chaos. So I want to rest in a very peaceful environment. We chose a big headboard to kind of accentuate the wall, but also to go with the minimalist design of this space. I want to add some luxury to the bedrooms. So we chose this shimmery satin curtain. This is my makeup counter slash dresser. I love Audrey Hepburn. And the breathe in, breathe out is a reminder to take deep breath at the end of the day. Now it's almost time for lunch. Let me show you the kitchen. This is my kitchen, and now we're gonna make two popular items from Lynn and Daughter's menu, the scallion pancake and wonton chili oil. Both of my kids and my husband love them. So Lynn and Daughters is a Chinese-style comfort food that uses recipe from my family and from my own. But right now, I'm making the wonton and chili oil. The wonton filling is based on my mom's recipe. The chili oil is based on my dad's recipe, so it's a combination of my, both of my parents in one. The kitchen is the part where I put the most thought into it when I designed this house because kitchen is kind of like my play space where I experiment and have fun. I'm doing the wonton for the wonton chili oil and it's a shape of a, an old Chinese coin. I chose a clean and modern design, but I did bring some gold into the design to give it a little contrast. Now I'm gonna make the sauce for the chili oil. We have homemade chili oil, and then we have this soy mix, and that's all we need to do. My daughter, who loves scallion pancake, one time asked me for cheese on the side. So I thought maybe I just put them together, and now it's on the menu of Linen Daughters. And people really seem to love it. 
Now we're adding the cheese filling and scallions. And then we're gonna cut around it to create layers. We're gonna flatten it with our hand like this. I'm gonna boil the wonton. I'm putting the wonton into the chili oil. Okay, now we're gonna garnish this with some scallion. Now you see me cook at home, I gotta go to a restaurant to meet my dad and prep for the week. Luckily, my restaurant is walking distance. The kind of food that I love to cook requires love, patience, and care. Much like designing a home and a restaurant. Thank you for coming to see how I work and live, and hope to see you at Lynn and Daughters. Coming up next, we are with a designer and author whose specialty is my favorite room, the kitchen. This should be fun. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. When designer and author Karen Rideau was in architecture school, she quickly realized that her passion was in the ideal kitchen. I get it. That's mine too. And she turned that passion into a career as a designer and an author. Oh, and a vintner. Now she shows off her own Los Angeles home and what she did to create the kitchen of her dreams. Hi, my name is Karen Rideau. Welcome to my house. I'm founder of Kitchen Design Group and I'm so excited to show you inside. You're gonna see my style at interior design, my influence as a kitchen designer, and my love for food, wine, and entertaining. So come with me. The first thing you notice when you walk into my living room, all the influence of my travels, of my culture, anything that is super meaningful to me. The rug I brought from Morocco, my beautiful pillow covers I brought from Mexico, and of course, I have to have a tequila bar in here. Tequila is very special. It's something I grew up with, but it is something that I can share with my friends and family, or even if I've had a bad day. <laughs> I love books, and I really, really wanted to get a bookcase in here. Speaking of books, I have released a new book which really envelops all the things I love, my kitchen design, making wine with my partner, and entertaining at home. When I entertain my guests, we usually start in the dining room. Follow me, I'd love to show it to you. And welcome to my dining room. I love all of my dishes. It represents all of my travels. I could tell a story from every piece. This came from my mother. The flowers were hand carried from Portugal. Also illustrated in my book, you guys, is that we are vintners and we always greet our friends and our families with a glass of wine. That's what you'll always see in the dining room. We just love wine and it's a big part of our lifestyle. As an avid cook and a kitchen designer, we couldn't miss this kitchen. I am gonna cook up a little something for you guys later on, but right now I wanna dive into the unique parts of it. For instance, this mural, I hand carried this from Portugal and I inset it into a marble backsplash. It even has light cracks in here. I don't even know if I bought it like that or it came in transfer from the trip. This is a great transition space. I designed this little spot for a chopping board that I can easily lift in and lift out. And you know I had to have a little color. I had to bring in some red. I think I picked out the granite first and then matched the color of the cabinet to the granite because I loved this. Overall, this kitchen really functions great and can serve a lot of people. Entertaining is a key part of my lifestyle and this courtyard is so special because we host all of our dinner parties here. I've just designed this wonderful pottery. I've collaborated with an artist 
in Mexico, Guanajuato, and he's designed these plates especially for me for my line. I did promise you a special treat. I'm going to make a little guacamole for you. The key to our guacamole is fresh serranos and place them into the mocajete. This mocajete, it's really special to me because it was handed down to me from my mother. This goes back to home and culture and now I have a love for cooking. You can just start mixing this now. And then I'm gonna top some cilantro, freshly cut tomatoes. We should have the perfect balance here of the lime, the spice. Oh my God, that is so good. And my guests have arrived, I'm so excited. And I promised you guys some fresh guacamole. It wouldn't be complete without a pairing of our Sauvignon Blanc to family, friends, good food, and of course, good wine. Provecho, salud. salud. Give this video a thumbs up and let us know which of these gorgeous homes featured in this episode was your favorite. So many to choose from, which will you pick? <laughs>